Okay, this quick and nasty video is for Mark, uh, who has a few problems with the Wombot. Um, we'll start with, uh, what do we start with? I'm pretty sure your bed should be right, but what you want to make sure is by pushing down in any of the corners, you don't cause the bed to actually, if we see in there, those little rubber wheels there, they have to be firmly enough so that it slides along but it doesn't push off unless it gets a really, really hard push down on the bed. Um, if they are a little bit loose, as in it does want to push out, an easy way is to actually undo one of these and just push the leg out a little bit. Um, try to do them evenly so that it sits in the center. Next problem was, I believe your X carriage or your, uh, your extruder head is actually very floppy and, and wants to move around a fair bit. Again, um, um, you, know, you can sort of see it, that first piece there is actually not a nut, it is an adjuster. It's an offset bolt, uh, offset nut I should say, well offset hole in that. When you turn it, it actually moves these up and down. Adjust them so that you, you adjust the two top ones evenly and there's one underneath there as well, maybe I can see it. Probably can't in the light in the shed. You need to adjust those so that this carriage is actually, you can see mine doesn't want to move. Um, if it does hit the bed hard, it will actually pop out of the way, but it certainly doesn't, there's no movement that's actually slowly twisting this. Or the, it's enough so that there is very slight um, tension on that. You, you can feel it, but it doesn't want to, um, it's not sticky, it's not uh, hard to push, hard to turn anything. Check your belts. You want the belts to be able to, well, sort of sing a bit of a note. You want them firm, you don't want to be able to sort of move them. Same goes with this belt down here. That's actually fairly firm. Uh, I'm putting a fair bit of pressure on that to move it. You don't want it to be able to move too much. Uh, what else? Ah, oh, check underneath here, uh, in the corners here, here as well. You want to check all those are tight and the system is, or the whole thing is square. Uh, what I used was a big clamp and actually clamped the two pieces together, then did up the, uh, the little grub screws there. So everything is actually fairly tight. You can see if I pull mine forward now, it actually lifts up the whole thing rather than, um, twisting here. I did a little bit of a mod here. The original printers only come with one L bracket here. I put a second one at the back but had to modify it slightly. Um, what else? Uh, people have said that the Z gets out of um, a sort of out, uneven after a while. What it can be is these brackets here could be loose. The screw here, there's one, only one bolt is actually loose. These are actually, you, know, you sort of see it move around, they actually move quite easy. That's to take to take any movement of these bars as they turn. It, you don't want it to push this bracket across any. Uh, one last thing to do is make sure these wheels are actually in the groove. To adjust that, what you do is, let me turn that around, at this point here, and again on the other side, there are two um, hex-headed bolts you need to, or uh, uh, Allen key bolts, you need to undo those. Then this one here you need to screw in so that it pushes this section of the carriage across to make sure these are firmly on both sides in the groove. Again, you don't want it too tight, but you want them to be quite firm in the groove. I can just turn the wheels and I believe that should be enough tension. Once that's screwed in enough, do those two back up. Um, that's about all I can think of offhand. Um, just make sure everything's nice and, and uh, square, nice and even, tighten something you should do with any printer. Make sure all the uh, bolts when, when they uh, arrive are nice and tight. Uh, I found mine, it had a couple of broken brackets in the corners here but a few of the others had vibrated loose. Um, I had to actually put it all back together, square it all up and tighten it all up. Uh, about the only thing that wasn't loose in mine was this front switch. 
everything else had to be tightened up. Um, another thing that I've seen a few people have problems with is this X head. When I reprinted the new head that uh, Aramis designed, uh, which has got, a, it's, a, it's actually printed in ABS, it's a bit thicker here. I believe this might be a fraction thinner. I'm not entirely sure, but it could be. What I found is as this moved across, it actually hit on the plastic here. So I actually had to just grind a little bit of the plastic out of the way so that the end of the bolt there just goes past. That's I could have put another spacer on the front here, I think, and just brought the end of the bolt out. That was much easier. I just ground a little bit out there. It goes along and touches. But I have seen a few others that have got score marks at that point. Move the camera so you can see. Um, just be aware of it, and you might have to just grind it or put a spacer at the front of this bolt just to make sure that the end of that bolt doesn't touch on it. Otherwise, as Keith had the problem when it was grinding back, this one will come across. It actually hits on the plastic and doesn't quite hit the X end stop here. Um, oh, yeah, you said that your um, sensor had fallen off. Mine actually came with... Um, uh, with two washers and I made sure that that is actually pretty darn tight so that yes there is a lot of vibration at this point mine won't or it hasn't come loose since I've actually made sure it was nice and firmly tight um, to adjust these someone actually said how do you adjust the X and Y belts there's actually uh, two bolts that go through there you may have to hold the um, the nut on the back side I replaced those nuts with nylock nuts because I found that, um, I think it was actually the bottom ones, fell off. Uh, so I put nylock nuts on mine. Um, I haven't had to touch them since, just that it makes it a little bit uh, less prone to vibration. So yeah, just hold the back of the nuts and screw those in until it's firm, but not too tight. Okay, hope that helps a little bit.